Now let's say that you have completed the document and you just take the printout of it and ask someone to proofread it and just mark the errors or write any suggestions they have with the red pen. Now, obviously, not only it will be time taking, but also if they have any suggestions, you have to retype that based on their suggestions. So is there any way we can do it electronically? In Microsoft Word, we can. Now we will use the area of track changes and comments in Microsoft Word. So to enable that, we will go to the review tab and enable the track changes from here. Now, for example, if I delete any text, it will not go away. Rather, it will be marked as a cross text in the red, just like you do it with the red pen. Similarly, if we write anything, it will be highlighted in red color with an underline. Similarly, if I want to make any suggestions here, for example, I select this and I want to put a comment here that change it to old culture and let's post this. So whenever person comes here, they will see this comment here. Now let's make some more adjustments here. Let's say I want this word to be changed instead of developed. I want to write developing. So as you can see that ED is now cut and changed to ing. So the changes is also highlighted. So let's make some more changes here. So I have made a couple of more changes as well. I've changed some dates. I have changed some words. I have add something to the existing word. I have removed some words and I have made some random changes here. Now let's save this and write it here for review. So whoever make these changes now as an author, we can change and track that. Let's open this and let's see that another person make that changes. And now we want to accept or reject that. So we will go to the review here and let's see the first suggestion, accept and move to the next. Let's click here. And as we can see that this suggestion is now accepted. So gap is removed here. We don't want to join these two words. If I accept that it will be joined. So let's reject that. And the word is removed. Let's accept that early civilization. Let's make the changes to old culture. Let's make the changes accordingly and let's accept this. And this one is removed. So we also want to accept this. And now we can see the word is changed. So next edition is this one, accept that. And this one is removed. And it says that developing is the new word and ED is removed. So you do you want to accept this removal? So if we accept that now it is the new word. So same thing, it will ask you what is changed and the new word as well. So do you want to delete this? Accept that. Do you want to write this new word? Accept that. So this is how you can accept and reject the words. And this is how you want to go this. And let's say that we have read the overall suggestions and now we want to accept all. So what we can do is you can simply click on accept all changes and you can also click on accept all changes and stop tracking. So this is how you can accept or reject the changes. Now, for example, we want to accept and stop tracking. So as we can see now, the track changes is disabled. Let's say that someone didn't enable the track changes and just save that and send it for review. Now, how we can track those changes? It's very simple. We can just go to the review tab and the earlier document that we sent, we want to compare this document to that one. So let's go to compare and click on compare here. Now let's give the reference to the original document from which we want to compare that. So let's select this and let's select the revised document now. So the revised copy is this one, which has mentioned an additional note for review. Let's click on open. And now if we click OK, it will highlight the changes by comparing the two documents. Now you can do the same thing. You can accept or reject the changes based on the suggestions. And we can also adjust the size of the windows here on the top. We have the original document. Here is the revised document. And here is the compared document in which the changes are all highlighted. So we can do the same thing, accept the changes, move to the next one, accept this one, accept this change like this. So it is a huge help, especially if you want to cross check the work 
or proofread the document and then make the changes accordingly. It is a huge time saver instead of just printing the document and marking them manually by a pen and then making the changes again to the document. You can do it all electronically on Microsoft Word and just go with the suggestions whichever you want to pursue by accepting the changes and whatever changes to you don't like you can just reject that and you have the updated version of your document. So just try it by yourself and I will see you in the next one.